That and other comments about Quebec came when the former Prime Minister went to Ottawa for a book launch. Our chief political correspondent, Jason Moskovitz, was there. Every time Pierre Trudeau makes an appearance in the capital, there is interest. But just a week after the referendum votes were counted, Trudeau was topical, and no one knew that better than he did. Officially, he came to talk about a new book of his on foreign affairs. He tried to say he didn't want to talk too much about domestic matters, but he did. It's only in the last, what, fortnight that when Mr. Bouchard began telling his lies. Trudeau confirmed Federalist strategy called for him to stay out of the referendum campaign. I respect the wisdom of those who, who um, determined the referendum strategy, so I sat on my hands. Had Trudeau got into the campaign, the Federalists may have had even bigger problems. For example, in the dying days of the campaign, Prime Minister Chrétien promised distinct society. Yet the former Prime Minister says he is still very much opposed. Quebec is distinct, so is Ontario. You can't be distinct from somebody without somebody being distinct from you, can you? While the Chrétien government keeps talking about giving more power to the provinces, the champion of a strong central government says decentralization would be a mistake. So if there's any give by the federal government, it will have to be traded against give by the provinces. And if they don't play that game, then Canada's finished. I was in his government, yes. Trudeau's statement had government ministers like Lloyd Axworthy with some explaining to do. The one thing that I, I learned uh, when I first joined the government under Mr. Trudeau back, way back when, was that the, uh, you have to be uh, open to adjustments and changes and doing things differently. Canadians may have fully expected Pierre Trudeau to play a significant role in the referendum campaign. The fact he never uttered a single public statement is an indication of the degree to which federal strategists considered him more of a liability than an asset. Jason Moskovitz, CBC News.